Hi, this is Clark from Inflectra. I want to show you how to update and change your user profile. This is one of the first things you should do when you first log in to Spire Team. I'm putting in my username administrator and the password. The password is please change as the default for new users, which is an awesome password. Uh, it does tell you exactly what to do first, and that is to please change it. So we're going to do just that first of all. If you go to the top right of the menu bar, you can see the name of the current user. That's me, system administrator. You can click on that, or you can click this drop down, and then select my profile, and that will take you to the profile page. Now, there's a lot of information. We'll get to that in a second. First of all, let's talk about the password. Now, the password requirements are set by the administrator for your organization, so it can vary based on what security your organization has. So I can't tell you whether you need numbers or letters, but what you do here is just put in your current password, put in a new password that conforms with the requirements you have, and then repeat it there. If you want to put in a new question and answer, you can do so in this area. Then don't forget to click Save. Once you do, the page will reload and you'll have this message at the top saying your preferences have been saved. So that's great. Let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Now let's talk about what else we can do here. First of all, we have a user avatar that we can change. I love this little animation. Now the avatar, as it says in this area here, cannot be more than 100K in size and no larger than 100 by 100 pixels square. So I have an image ready to go. So let's click this plus button. And I've decided I'm going to be a pine cone. I don't know why, but you know, pine cones are nice. So again, we put that there. Now we just need to press the save button and preferences have been saved. Now, as it says here, you will need to clear the browser cache to see the new avatar. That's just something that happens with every application, be it Google Plus or Facebook or other things. Okay, so I cleared my browser cache and I refreshed the page. And now you can see I have a lovely pine cone both here and here and everywhere in the app, I will now be represented as a pine cone. So now that we have our avatar in place, what else can we do on this page? You can, of course, change your name and make sure it's spelled correctly. There is also RSS functionality inside Spire Team, which is useful both for getting RSS feeds when certain things update or new items are created inside the application, and also for connecting to our API. So we're going to leave that for now. You can put in your department and organization. Now, this is a good one. You can select your start page. I actually do have mine always set to my page. You can also have it set to your last open project or your last open project group. So I know that the, the big boss here sets it to last open project group. And when they're commuting in in the morning, they open up Spire Team and they can see what's going on across all the projects they're responsible for. I need to see what I'm responsible for, so I have it set to my page. Now, there's a number of tabs down here at the bottom. We've already talked about password and security. For email preferences, you can put in an email. Now, in regional settings, you can choose your culture and time zone. The culture will change the language if it has it available inside the application. Not all of these languages are supported, but it'll also do things like change date, time format, and that kind of thing. So that is actually really useful to pick exactly uh, what culture preference you prefer. For time zones, it will obviously give you all the times in your local time zone of choice. Once you've made all the changes you want to, or be it on the regional settings, your email, your password, or your name and other details up here, don't forget to click save, and then it'll be updated on the server. So that's really all there is to it to get started with your user profile. Just remember you get to it by clicking on the top right over here from the navigation bar. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. And I'd love to know what your favorite starting password is for an application. Normally it's either like administrator, administrator or administrator default. I really like that we have please change. If you have a favorite one you've come across, please do share it in the comments below. If you'd like to stay up to date with tips and tricks for Spire Team and other Inflectra products, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.